Hello everyone, this is Crashlands and we're just going to continue where we la last left off. Basically we've uh, sort of defended these two guys, the Burbus and the squid face thingy, uh, from a bunch of attacks from the, the bog itself. Apparently if uh, the... I guess, I don't know, how would you call it? I guess it's, uh, it's what now? Mm. So the civilization, I guess we could call it, of the Burbus. If you're sort of cast out, then uh, basically the bog is gonna go against you and stuff. It's gonna consider you a menace, and even if you can hear the bug or not, or, so basically even if you're closer to the bog than most of the Burbus, it's still going to attack you, and it's gonna pretty much send animals to sort of kick your ass. Okay, so let's see how, uh, what else do they actually want. Whoa, that was fascinating. I need to complete some research notes. Uh, how is the bog now? Oh, so he's actually actually asking the Burbus now. The uh, bog motor is quiet. We may carry on. There we go, another quest complete. It may be quiet now, but I doubt it'll completely uh, no, complete my research before we get attacked again. But this is gonna be like sort of an, uh, I don't know, arena? Need some help? Yes, would you gather the bog flora I need to analyze? I need the 10 each of bloss, tuskers and black pots, whatever those are. The <laughs> ones that are all bumpy and yellow. They seem to have medicinal uh, properties. Alright, we'll uh, scrounge them up and meet you back here. No dying, so. Okay, I think they already have them. Let's see. Most interesting, it seems that uh, these aren't plants at all, but are a collection of specialized bog glands and parasites. Okay, all I want to do right now is get away from you uh, meat sacks. <laughs> there we go, it sort of got them all. The bugs, the plants that I actually eat for life, and the little pumpkins, uh, or cucumbers I think I was calling them. That are sort of nice and neat and they're pretty much all around. You need something uh, sturdy to cook them down for potions. Cauldrons would be the trick. Wait, you want Flux to drink potions made of uh, bug parasites? I'm feeling something. Oh, we're gonna get attacked again. I think we're gonna have one of those squid face thingies. Or, I guess, mushroom with tentacles. What is it? Uh, is the bug rising up again? Mm hmm? Uh, actually, it feels like uh, has a massive head wound. <laughs> so she does. Silly me, it's all the excitement. I failed to do a proper once over, sorry. Uh, oh, so that's her name, oh, Own or whatever. She's also hurt, apparently, if I've got that right. Say, Flux, could you whip me a few bloody healing potions? Blehi, blehi, wow, I, I cannot uh, pretty much read that. And do I. S and do it somewhat quickly. Uh, how many do you need? Three others, others suffice. Two for O and one for me. Of course those Vomas. Okay, so I'm gonna need to make a bunch of potions apparently. No real, real idea which ones. Probably gonna need to go back to the original base to do it. We should go back to Carto to complete that quest. I'm just gonna pretty much give it. Probably gonna fight some mobs on the way. Uh, our little juice box seems to have a mind of its own, like, like usually, and go, I guess, I his own way and stuff. Doesn't really matter on the long run. I would actually engage a couple of these so I could uh, farm them more, because as I said before, we are not sitting that great with the materials from them. I'm gonna engage two of them apparently. And they don't seem to attack at the same time, which is going to make a bit of a difficulty to get them. But, oh crap. We actually managed it. Okay, there we go. Should be about all. Uh, the thing about the hammer, it's pretty neat, but it swings a bit slower. That's pretty much the only downside to it that I can name. But oh well, we, we managed, so it's okay. I think we've passed the Karta. Or didn't we? No, we're like just near him, but a bit above. There we go. That's his uh, patch of land and all his spiky things that he has around. Hey, yay. Um, great job. I reckon those might come in handy down the line. Uh, last weird thing I found around here is this um, group of old trees. Them Burbus call 
Picayas. Okay. Picayas. Yeah. Uh, they grow this red harvestable eyeballs that have uh, interesting properties. I found a net patch of them, or neat patch of them, southeast of here. I think I found them already. Post a jolly sign and come back. I. I. Uh, yeah, you got it. I'm, I'm not gonna read that I anymore. It's pretty much weird. I'm gonna have to make another sign. And the patch of I think is that grow are pretty are basically over here. We could go from here to the north and we should do it rather easily. So all we have to do is go back home, make the sign, go for his sort of patch of land, and I guess move from there. Cauldron wise, oh there we go. I was also, also gonna need to make one of these because it's a working table for potions apparently. So let's see. Yeah, last episode I actually made a sort of a axe, but we didn't really go to get it. Yes, until this is gonna go down, let's go see how good that axe really is. It should be legendary. Should be have like having like a lot of fun with it, but I think we already have about two weapons above it, so it's gonna be just as good as what we have right now, or a bit worse. I guess we're gonna see in a sec. This is pretty much how you do it when you want to travel fast. So let's see it. And it's an epic actually. Move, attack, damage, crit, burn and turbo. If you would have, if you would have had any of the stun, it would, been, it would have been like really worth it. But as I said, it's sort of lower than with what we already have. Uh, it's a bunch lower actually, about 69. It's basically, a uh, we have like a weapon above its quality already. So we're gonna keep what we have, especially for the stun, which is really great. I'm not gonna equip it, I'm gonna keep it. I can't really farm it, uh, well not farm it, like recycle it either. So I can't really do anything there. Oh, we had to make some potions, but we need to make them the cauldron, as far as I understand, not on the fire. So I guess well, that's that, so click it, warp it. And from there, let's go back on the other side of the planet. On the weird looking side of the planet, that is. <laughs> a lot of teleporting. You'd think if you teleport enough times, you're gonna have enough uh, errors in your code from the teleporting that's gonna mess you up. Yeah, I guess that's a bit of uh, Let's get, take the sign because that's what we need, and this one's gonna be a working thing. There we go. Station. And we already have like three things we can create already from it. Not bad, not bad. Let's set it down. I'm gonna put it in the corner for now. Well, not that. Let's go into the building mode. There we go, cauldron. And there we have it. Let's see. We have. We need to make like three potions of of exactly this one. So let's build. Ah, oh, we're gonna have a bunch of these. What does this actually do? Oh my god, that's a lot of health. Uh, to be honest, I'm gonna go berserk on this one. I'm gonna make about 30 of them. It's basically because I can. I don't have enough of those. Okay, doesn't matter. I'm gonna let them sort of cook themselves. We're gonna get, gonna get enough of those um, cucumbers anyways. So I already have the quest for this ones, but I don't have a teleporting sort of way for them, not directly. There's still a big quest with these guys as well, but I'm not gonna go for them just yet. I'm gonna go for Carta's uh, things. We already have the sign. And uh, team again. Yeah. Why didn't you stay so I could kick your ass and you left like a coward? Oh well, whatever. So I'm going actually uh, south. We need to go north. Yeah. To get to the patch of uh, eyeball thing is. <laughs> yeah, I kind of know how the plant looks. It's pretty neat. Oh, there we go. We need a bunch of more of these. So I'm gonna take them all. Now th this is actually how they look. Apparently those are eyes. We can't really farm them yet because we don't have the required tool or a good of a tool as we should to actually farm them. But apart from that, we're doing so, sort of great. We should that oh there we go. This is like the other snorbel. Okay, so this is a snorbel. They're pretty neat. Actually, let me show you how they fight. But the problem is that one. It may attack us while we fight the snorbel. As you saw, it has uh, of a fan attack, that one. It's pretty fast though, sometimes you have to be careful, as you can see, it really shoots a lot. You have to move a lot around it. 
when he does that uh, ban attack, they're pretty slow and you can actually get them. It's gonna be a big fight. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go for this one. If he kills me, it kills me, and that's gonna be that. But I kinda really want the other essence that this guy's gonna give me. Here we go, we stun them a bit. And it you know, hits us for a lot of life. And it's basically evolved, so you would expect that. We could just let our pet do the thing, but I don't really want to do that. Kinda wanna help it out so we can make it quicker. Uh, with them as well, sometimes you don't really need to move away from the, the spot you're in. You just have you can like uh, continuously hit. Kind of happened uh, a few minutes ago, and there we have it. We also have like the other essence. We have two of them. We're probably gonna need more than two for whatever upgrading tool we're gonna get for our uh, pets. But apart from that, we should be just about fine. Apparently, I've been around here, but I'm gonna get that on me anyways. There we go. I'm gonna eat a plant. Let's see what we're gonna get from this one. Not the one. Eh, we've left it behind. So that's that. We are uh, basically in the patch of land that we sh where we should find those eyeball thingies. All that's left now is actually to find them. So we found one. Ooh, and a bunch of these guys. Verbals. Okay. And there it is. This is the patch of uh, whatever this is called. I don't know how they're called actually. Pikake, pika, pikakse, whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna blow those two though. <laughs> I can barely wait actually. So let's take the sign. Let's place it like right in the middle of it. Let's name it uh, Eyeball Thingies. Why not? Mm -hmm. Then again, they don't really look like eyeballs to me, to be honest. They look like fingers or some creepy fingers or something. Maybe I should. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I should name them exactly how they're actually named, so I know what I have here, like Pikaxe. Okay, Pikaxe. <laughs> Pikaxe, oh my god. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And let's set it for flowers of as well, and that's about it. We're gonna look on the map. We have the circle, we have... there should be like another one somewhere, right? No? Nerva circle, we have the pickaxe over here, we also have like this one, which... Oh, it seems it's changes, so it's either the name or the type of flower. Okay, we're gonna go with pickaxe and maybe like that. We're gonna leave it at that. Let's blow these two thingies. Let's get the cucumber. Crap, that thing actually sorta of saw me. That didn't really get any damage as well. It's gonna be easier than the green one to take down, but it's not gonna be that easy. And we got him. Something of... oh, it's one of the green ones. Okay, so we've done this. We need to go back to Carter now, like really fast. So we can save some time. And then we're gonna go give the potions. And from then on, then on, I don't really know what we're gonna do. I guess we're gonna see. We could go and uh, talk with more of these um, natives guys, I guess. Oh, we'll see. We'll see where the wind blows our feet or something. Can I pass through here? Uh, there we go, I can. So let's see what Carter has to say. Ah, uh, who? You done it, you done... You done it again? Done it probably again. Flux, take this scope. I, I've been using to search out landmarks as a tanks. Okay, so... Yeah, Carter. Think about it. A vacation home in the bog. I bet there's even fishing around here. Oh, he's gonna give us a fishing pole. Nice. Uh, I'm miles ahead of you, too. Got this sweet little spot I marked with a torch a while back. Why don't you go and put a marker on that for me so I can have visitors come by? It's to the south. Okay, so he's probably gonna give us a... Oh, okay. So we can make a telescope. I have like no idea what that one does, but we'll see. And he also gave us a sort of a fishing uh, spot. Arta's second home. Okay. Where's the fishing spot though? This is the fishing spot? 
We're sort of close. I guess we could go directly for it. We don't have the sign though for it. And I'm pretty sure he didn't give us give it to us as well. I don't really see where he could fish. I guess he could fish over here, this sort of uh, arrow pointed towards the south. Weird. Yeah, we're gonna find a lot of... Uh, well, let's call them... Marks on the ground. Yeah, there we go. That... Um, look sort of... Um, arrowish or maybe with other sort of... Resemblance to real life things or something. I kind of found a lot of them. Even some, um, not things I should mention for children. <laughs> or maybe that was just by chance, who knows. So I'm gonna need to go back home to my little base over here and make another sign. Post it on the fishing thingy. And maybe I'm gonna be lucky and he's gonna give us a fishing pole. There's not that many fishing holes, I must say that though. There's only a few of them. But, well, a few or more doesn't really matter. As long as they're there, we can use them. So let's go back fast to the waypoint. Let's plant the sign. And I guess I'm gonna, we're gonna go from there. Yeah, I said we're gonna go give the potions. Apparently we're gonna make a bit of a quest for Karta as well, still. It's kinda, uh, I guess, uh, not so great that the quests usually don't like give you experience or anything. They give you rewards now and then, but that's about it. On the other hand, it's not that bad. Just not what I'm really used to, I guess. Building mode, sign, don't mind if I do, apparently you can't really post the sign beneath your Wumpet. So let's go a bit this way then, I guess. Oh, come on, select it already. There it is. And Carta pretty much just uh, swept in. Uh, Howie, just look at this place. I'm gonna have so many visitors, maybe Grandmammy will even come by. Glad we could help you, Carta. Uh, I'm most glad for the help from you too. Here, take this idea I have for a uh, heating pad. All sort of weird slowing things around here should help you quite a bit. Solving or slowing? Couldn't really figure that one out. Thanks and... Uh, okay, we got like a new thing we can make. Interesting what that... We're gonna need to see what that actually does. We're gonna name this. We're gonna name it Carta and that's about it. Guess like that. Oh, should find it rather easily. I kind of am curious if I can use this one. Apparently, not so much. You just can move it around, and it has the scarecrows as well. Can't really fish as of yet. Maybe Grandma's gonna give us like the fishing pole because she used to do that uh, in the past. So let's go fast and give these guys the potions. We made a bunch of quests, actually, I'm pretty, pretty satisfied. Also got the... Um, oh, it's Nightfall, it's gonna, we're gonna engage some of those uh, weird mushroom with tentacles things, I guess. We, we had enemies that looked like... Um, oh, you wanna engage me? Okay. Troak, whatever Troak is. For a moment, a lot of the enemies nearby showed their names. No idea why, though. There we go, we got that one. This one seems to join the party, and it's stunned, and I'm not really going to say no to a chance like that. And there we go, we have them. Let's get the worm, because, well, why not? Let's get this one, because it's also sort of small, and you should be able to kick his ass rather fast. Move, Don't stay in one place. There we go, the one pit did the thing. I see another of these cucumbers around, so I'm not gonna mind if I do, because I can make really good potions out of them. They give about 2,000 something life, it's like more than I have, so it's really great actually. I'm pretty pleased with my uh, equipment so far, we're doing rather well. I would have wished for a better weapon, but well, when don't I wish for that, so... I guess like, don't... Uh, Don't, uh, I don't know, doesn't matter. Don't think of anything I'm saying or something. Oh, there we go, found them. Let's see what they actually... We're probably gonna be engaged by even greater and greater or tougher mobs. I guess we'll see. Makalak's Peninsula, okay. 
uh, with a potion drops one down, owns open beak, then unceremoniously chucks one himself. Okay. Now that we've um, tasted... What? Whoa, that even tasted great. Uh, who would have thought parasites could be delicious? Great. <laughs> we must move soon. The bug is growing against... Uh, agitated with our presence. Uh, where were you quadruple heading anyways? Uh, we all had separate missions and were to rendezvous at a safe location. We're calling it Grandma Pool. <laughs> Grandma Pool, okay. Uh, Brack should already be there. I'll give you the coordinates and you'll meet and, uh, and we'll meet you there whenever you make the journey. Let's go. Okay, so they disappeared. They sort of, uh, they sort of left us alone over here. Unceremoniously, they, dis they like uh, teleported. There's the grandma pool. This is Carter's uh, home. We don't really care about that that much. This NPC over here didn't really, uh, didn't really like give us anything. I kind of made a bit of a journey to the north just to see how things are, and we should go to these guys to see what they need or what they, what we could do for them, I guess. Uh, yeah, well. Why not? Let's just go for them. There was a quest for them to, for us to find them anyways. And after that, all we can actually do, to be honest, is just try to, I guess, investigate. Can we walk on these? It's like walls. Oh, we can walk on these. Okay. Don't mind if I do. So... We're gonna see, uh, afterwards we're gonna see what we can actually build from uh, what recipes we got and materials. Okay, let's see what this guy wants. Hi, I'm Flux and this is Juicebox. Are you the rooster of uh, Glojinax? Glojinax? This is uh, Okrankinax. Okay. And what uh, is it that you are uh, exactly? I have never seen uh, disorders such as yourself disordered. Your disorder, dude. Oh, there we go. It's rude. Well, the, so uh, the short story were uh, aliens, we crashed here and we're looking for someone who stole some things of ours. Aliens? Only a few creatures from beyond the Wanope have ever visited here and with that, uh, with, with them, has always come uh, tremendous upheaval. Okay. We are interested in upheaving, we just want our property, then we'll leave. Can you tell us who the rooster of this place is? The rooster of uh, Okrankinax is uh, Okrank. Oh, go figure, foolish ally, uh, aliens. Uh, the roost is always named for the rooster. Ah, okay, so they named their city for the one that's like on the top. That does make a kind of sense. Uh, anyways, thanks for the info. We'll go talk to Okrank now. I can't let you do that just yet. As the lesser of Okrak, it is my duty to set her schedule. Oh, so Okrak basically has like, a, I don't even know how that's called, sort of a secretary. Well, okay, put us on the schedule then. Uh, Okrak is terribly busy right now. It will take some time for me to get you on 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 audience. To an audience. Terribly busy. I can see her right here, not doing anything. Alright, I get it. Perhaps there is a favor we could do for you and while we're off doing that favor, maybe you can find a slot for us. Well, I'm sure that if I looked hard enough, there would indeed be an opening somewhere. My god, this is annoying. <laughs> I will slap him silly. Uh, how about this? While I dig through Okrak's tremendously busy schedule, you go talk to a recruit. And what should we uh, and what should we talk to Rick Rule about? My lesser Kron has been working to take my rank. Ah, it would be a shame if instead Rick Rule were to take Krons. <laughs> so you're saying it would be the shame, uh, be a shame at all? It wouldn't be a shame at all. How can we influence this rank thing? Uh, rank is only position within the picking order. There are many ways by which it can be affected. Now I must get back to work. And he still talks with us? That's sort of weird. Let me see the map. Oh, we have two guys we can talk and with him again. So let's talk with him again and see what he gives us like something else. Disorder. There are other matters I would have you tend to. Like what? Uh, if our majestic roost is to reach its highest height, heights, 
There must be changes to a few upstart villages around here. Sirix, an ambitious newcomer, has begun a rival roost somewhere off here, so obviously not the city. I'd like it to go there and make his home disappear. Oh my god, seems a little bit wrong. Uh, what's his name? Kikix? Okay, whatever. Wrong is a matter of perspective, Flux. Without our positions uh, secured here, we risk our rank and could uh, even become shivers. Trashers. We shouldn't project our own ethics on this creature, Flux. They're clearly work, they clearly work—they—they clearly work by a different code. Plus, there might be reward at the end of this dark road. All right, I'll head some uh, southeast to Sirix Sinax <laughs> and see what I can do. You preen us with your presence, disorder. Now go and don't return until uh, that hovel is wiped from the block. My God, these are evil, evil creatures. <laughs> evil small. Weird looking, sort of bird looking creatures. And apparently, we're gonna have to stop over here because we're really far into the episode as it is. So, with that being said, if you enjoyed the clip, give it a big like, if you wanna see more, subscribe, and we're gonna see what these weird little creatures wanna do us next. Okay, see you guys.